Hey everyone, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm finally going to watch Daisy Jones and the Sex. You're actually going to join me on this journey. And I really hope it's good because I've been resisting this book for such a long time and I finally picked it up specifically for this. So, I hope and I pray that it's really, really good. I love the casting, but we'll see how they're going to perform in this adaptation. I love that they're keeping the whole documentary vibe of it. They're doing fake videos from the past of the group and the hair, the hair is so beautiful on everyone actually. When have we decided that a big blowout is no longer it? Because I would like to have some words with the people that had done this. I also like how they age them up for the interviews. It looks very realistic. She had anything and everything at her disposal. And yet, she was completely alone. I relate alone. to that. I do not want to hear children's voices either. I said I would listen, maybe give them some pointers. They're building up Billy's ego from the start. The whole world just seems so beautiful. I love that they're pretending that Daisy goes to school at this point, because we know she wasn't going. Oh no, I could have skipped that. <laughs> Where is everybody? Well, they didn't show anything. We don't need explicit rapey stuff. We know what happened. Oh, that's okay. the yeah, you know who I am. dad that abandoned them. I thought it, we're should meeting I? Camilla now. Yeah, you should. Then of course I do. I'd recognize that guitar anywhere. Anything else? I said fucking take it! I've got no use for it. I gave it to you. Something to remember me by. There you go, asshole. And the worst dad award goes to this guy. Not even Frank from Shameless. They look pretty similar too. You okay, man? I can still see the look on Billy's face. I mean, that was the moment this thing became real. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. Um, are you? I am, yeah. Billy Dunn, pleasure to meet you. Um, I was just gonna say, are you using that basket? No. Flames, flames, no. flames across my face. There you go. Oh, thanks. Sure. I would literally leave. So, uh, so, so you don't know who I am? He's digging the hole even <laughs> Should deeper. I? Well, I'm in a band. Oh, so that's actually Camilla. Wasn't she blonde? Am I tripping? I mean, she's really hot. You know what I don't was. like is me? that she met him Every girl in uh, as he was becoming done. relatively because popular. In because in the book, she met him so what's a big rock star when like he doing in the neighborhood just started. And he wasn't big Honestly, or anything, literally or anything. My so there wasn't any bro. place for gold digging yeah. insinuations. You have a beautiful home, sir. Her father is past verbal. Camilla tells us you work in the it's steel so annoyed with uh, him. Yeah, yeah, I do. But it's just temporary, you know. Oh. Billy's a musician. Yeah, I'm in a band called uh, the Dumb Brothers. She attacked the dad with the knife and turned it. She keeps carving into him with the things that he doesn't want to hear. Oh, so that's the guy she wrote the song for. That later claimed that he was the one. His mustache is hilarious. My dad wore the same one. Serious pipes on your girl. You know, I know that about Thank God I met Simone when I did. Daisy I love Simone. Her life. Karen and Simone, my two favorite characters. So the film Hair. Is What's your name again? Hair. Daisy. I'm a huge fan of yours. I, I don't know what you're doing though. Some my backup for Penny fucking Richardson. I was looking for you. Penny fucking Richardson. Excuse me. Daisy Jones, huge fan. Let's get out of here, I'm tired. I mean, we talked about this. No, you talked, and you know what, Simone? I'm fucking done. 
Penny seems like a real see you next Tuesday and I'm feeling the toxic Suffolk vibes here. Ooh, that's current. Keep dreaming, Peaches. <laughs> she hot. I don't date blondes, but she hot. And that hair. It's very Bridget Bordeaux. Like the whole... You know a good place to get a bite around here, Graham? You're not gonna stick around? My Check dude, us out. you're trying too hard. It's gonna be a good show. Um, I chill. Maybe next Chill. Time. And she'll come to you. The groovy guy with the cigarette. God, I love this. Yep. Oh, that's right. a person who's never heard of the Rolling Stones could still point to Jagger. He's and somehow that hotter one. when He's they the aged star. him. Yeah, really down to have that in spades. Yeah. I wish someone said this about me. Last thing I'll say, and this is key. You need to get the fuck out of Pittsburgh. You want to be signed to a label? You want to work with Jimmy Miller, Tom Dowd, Teddy Price? You know Teddy Price? Yeah, man, I know everybody, and they're all in L.A. now. You could come with us. And do what? Huh? Follow you around? I have a job, Billy. I'm going to school, you know? I can't just... Follow some boy across the country some because boy. you want to. I mean, yeah. Some boy. I'm not saying yes, what some is this boy. Thing? She's correct. She shouldn't do it. I recently read somewhere something along the lines of men are not invested in their women achieving their goals. They want an audience to them achieving their own, and it's so fucked up. I mean, I'm not sure I agree 100%, but I do think it's pretty spot on, especially with like a dude with a big ego. I'm pretty sure a lot of people love Camilla. I don't. Got room for one more? I don't think she's very much oh, not like other girls, but in the 70s. Hey. It's not that she's saying that, but all of the choices that she made throughout the book are as if a response to You're coming? people telling women to put themselves first, to, you know, follow their dreams. Taylor Jenkins Reid does say a lot in the books that Camilla just wants that kind of life and she is pleased with it and it's what she dreamed of. But at the same time, I'm like, it feels like you've planted this character specifically to make sure that I constantly am fired up and angry. I'm not saying that wanting a family is bad. I'm saying that she's way too sacrificial for my liking. I'm not interested Camilla's in being anybody's ready to be muse, Gary, okay? Muse. Not yours, not she loves I mean it like that. I'm not the muse, okay? I'm the somebody. to be someone's muse. We're going to talk about Camilla more later, specifically with some choices that she makes. I genuinely feel like she has the worst fate out of them all, despite it seeming so ideal, picture perfect. I think what they're failing to show so far is how privileged Daisy is and how her life is literally glamour, 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 baby. It kind of seems like they're going the... Her parents disown her, she's now living in a ditch kind of route. And I think her coming from a place she comes from and also her living a specific lifestyle affects her character. Rod, hey. Uh, it's uh, Billy Dunn. Hatton Day Up, the Dunn brothers. We met at the Rod staircase. looks ridiculous with this hair. Yeah. You said Long hair call. is definitely not for everybody. But you didn't call. You just it looks like a lesbian. Here. Join our band. In Pittsburgh. No, actually, we're in LA. Let me speak to that girlfriend of yours. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. You're so cute. Will you go out with me? Is it Daisy? Must be Daisy. <gasps> Daisy! What are you cooking that's like so important you just had to break in? It smells good, doesn't it? it? Smells like you want to smell it forever. That's Every a tempting night. offer. In your apartment, cooked by me. I bet what she cooked up is horrible. You left home. She doesn't look like a girl that can cook. I can't stay with them anymore. No! no. Come on. What? You can film me all you Camilla want, looks like a freaking model. Like Emily Rotakowski 2.0. Who's she? I need to Google her. Some people are God's favorite. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. And he's in his worst underwear. The tidy white is. Yikes. Yeah, the money thing, by the way. Uh, I think in the book and in the TV show now, they mentioned that the band wasn't making any money, so at home with our I wonder how they were rent. renting this big ass house. I mean, I've sent out hundreds of photographs, not a single fucking They're pretending Camilla has any I mean, career aspirations. That's cute. Daisy has a job? Haha. -ha. They read the book and they were like, none of these girls have jobs. Daisy working is a big joke. I'm telling you, they're doing Rags to Riches storyline and it doesn't make sense because she comes from privilege and she has the money. Like, that's her whole thing. It's a part of her character that she has money and that's why she can, you know, get drunk all the time and take drugs and not be responsible for anything. Just do whatever she wants all the time. Dizzy Jones. Simone is Dizzy a real Price. MVP here. You two should talk. Or she was like, babe, you're not paying oh, the right. amount of rent that I need. You interested? Do something about it. What exactly? Giving low jobs on this trip. You have the pigtails for it. Well, I don't know. Come what on do now. What do you for? Uh, well, I just like what I heard. Teddy Price? I just went in there behind you. Give me the shit. Give me the... Give me... Give me the shit. Go, 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 go. Yes, go sold this poor man in the store. Because that's sane. Billy, is that your name? Yes, sir. You're making me uncomfortable. I'm in a band. You're awfully and unprepared is. for this. Is there any chance we can play for you sometime? You know, just just one song. I'm gonna get some more. Don't be no, 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 no. Come here. Your girlfriend is Come hot. Like you you're legally not allowed to be this pissy when you have Come on. Hey. Girlfriend that is this hot. Is there anything you don't think is horrible? No, honestly, no. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. mm -hmm. There's one we've been knocking around. Yeah? Uh, it's not like the others. It's I want to hear it. We just, uh, we wanted to say thank you for this opportunity. With a six, and this is Silver Nail. Can I say, they knock my socks off. <laughs> Daisy as a waitress you. continues to be you ridiculous. Know, I heard that from a lot of music producers, Teddy, and it wasn't always music that they were interested in. No, this is around, such BS. If Teddy saw something in you, he just wouldn't let it go. They were like, Daisy's not likable enough. <laughs> Let's give her a job. Billy, I'm pregnant. I've been wanting to tell you, but... <laughs> There's never really a right time for this kind of stuff, is there? What the hell are we gonna do? We got married that night. Am I a bad person for not thinking this is romantic? Because to me it isn't. What are you doing up so early? Um, I knew I was supposed to call yesterday. Oh, I love the way uh, she said I, that. I couldn't get to a phone. Did I? Yeah. God, I'm so sorry. It's I, fine, I don't it's know fine. We just... On. I love that they decided to show it from her point of view <laughs> instead of his point of view. Me and the baby. Hello. Karen. Hi. Hi, it's me. Um, is, is Billy there? This hey. is really sad and the way they decided to show it is more just to Camilla than it was in the book in what? my opinion because we see the full scope hey, of devastation wait, that wait, she goes listen, through. Listen to me. Hey, get off! <gasps> the fuck did they do? The fuck is that? Some My people dude. just don't know how lucky they are. Yes, good choice. The Stella, she's good. Really? She's so what good. The, fuck is wrong with you? the anger is you real. Think that I'm gonna let you ruin our life. My life. I don't give a fuck what you do until this baby comes. But when it does, you are gonna show up for me. Look at me. 
You are gonna show up for me, for this child, and you're gonna keep showing up for the rest of your goddamn life. Do you understand? In my opinion, getting married to him because she was pregnant was such a gamble. Especially because he was on the rise. And everyone knows a dating musician is a nightmare. What I genuinely didn't like about the book, and I'm not liking here too, obviously it's the same story, is how much it pushes the there's this one person for you myth. And I think that's why a lot of people will find Billy's and Camilla's storyline romantic. Uh, he fucked up and she gave him another chance and he changed for her specifically for her and the baby you know it's in the sacrifice that they both made for each other she absolutely could have found someone else and that someone else would have been better for her but it's still treated like they were made for each other and i just don't like that i can't do it oh no you gotta do this no i can't you got to i said i can't I can't ever be be like this. There's not gonna be a second chance here, son. Get the fuck out of my car. I said, get the fuck out of my car! Yes, go roam the streets. I'm sorry, Titty, I can't do it. Titty, Titty, I can't. Sorry, right, man, get back in. I can't do it. Come on. Some really good acting on Sam's part, though. So, that's the end of the two episodes that I'm going to watch today. What I liked is the styling. I think the actors are pretty strong because we've had quite a few dramatic scenes. Camilla confronting Billy was perfection. It was so good. Love the outfits, love the hair, love the way they uh, aged up the characters. It was very subtle. The makeup is really good. So far, I'm enjoying it. What I don't like is one change and one change only. They're trying to pretend that Daisy is an unfortunate soul. She's living with her friend, barely making it, waitressing all the time. And she has this big dream of becoming a singer. That's not her story. That's the story of a lot of up-and-coming singers, or at least they are peddling the story in the interviews, but then it turns out that they've had affluent parents. As I've said earlier in the video, her being privileged and having the time to do all kinds of stuff is what made her successful. It's what allowed her to tap into the songwriting. It's responsible for how confident she is in herself, for a lot of parts of her personality that are paramount, otherwise she's not Daisy. So I didn't really like that change. And I don't think we needed that just to make her more personable and likable. She's not a likable character. and She was not supposed to be a likable character. I would say most characters in the book were not likable and that's the point of it. So, not a wipe. Tell me if you watched the whole thing already, if you're watching with me, what you're thinking about the show, about the casting, what you like, what you dislike. And I guess on that note, I will see you soon with another video, but until then... <laughs>